Okay, we're going to do a video on this uh, cast iron cast iron bobsled I came up with. You can see the hitch or uh, tongue cross member and the brace. The brace I'm going to have reproduced. I need three of them because there's actually two sets of bobs. You see the forge weld here. It's a pretty unusual sled. I can't find any information about it on Google other than uh, possibly used in mines or quarries. This is a pretty neat old back in the day riveted repair. It was broke. Broke right here. Got fish plate on each side. Each one of these weighs 80 pounds. It's marked E period over period. It's a number two. You can see number two here. Anyway, this this uh, runner was this runner was broke when this stuff was dumped out of my son's scrap box. So I got fish plates bolted onto it and, and gonna be in the in the process of riveting it, riveting the fish plates on it to repair that runner. You can see this this runner has been repaired by brazing at one time in its life. I estimate these to be 150 to 140 to 150 years old. Anyway, uh, I got a, working online with a with a blacksmith in Pennsylvania. Like I said, he's going to make me three three of these uh, brackets for the tongue, and then the other two brackets would be used for the reach to the second pair of bobs. I'm lucky to have this lucky to have this cross member this hitch cross member yet because it tells me how wide these runners were spaced and it looks like these runners were approximately about 32 inches center to center which is unusual for bobsled gauge Or this whole thing is unusual. Bring cast iron. Okay. Thanks for watching my video.